Hi friends, uh, so this is a video update on the progress of the computer here. It's been a long time I haven't made uh, any videos uh, and uh, I had stopped working on it for a while as I was uh, busy with other things. Uh, but about two months ago I think I started working on it again and I decided to write a simple file system and update the, the operating system a little. Uh, so right now here as you can see we are on the website which is connected to the CPU live and I don't know if you saw the my previous video but uh, the address has changed so the address now is sol-1.org this is where you find the CPU right now so when I reset the computer uh, I am presented with this prompt right here and what I have to do is I have to come here to the assembler and I have to co co copy uh, the kernel code uh, for this and then I go on the website and I paste it on the online assembler and I click assemble so this sends a request to my computer here which is connected to the assembler uh, for the for that generates machine call for the for the computer so then I copy this so as you can see there is the hexadecimal code here and there is also a listing uh, for whatever you are assembling so you can also use this uh, if you go on the website here you can write a program also and assemble it so when I click that and I copy this and I go back here and I paste the code into the prompt so this is the BIOS basically is, is reading the operating system from here uh, rather than fetching it from the hard disk right now for example because uh, this is easier for me to do the testing so so after doing that the CPU does, does some initial initialization and we have the prompt here so what I'm trying to do is uh, trying to write an, a simple operating system that uh, resembles Unix I don't know much about Unix, so I'm using this opportunity to learn, uh, learn about operating systems and in particular learn about Unix. So I am trying to make it a Unix-like system. It's far from it right now, of course. Just the prompt, I'm um, trying to make the, the shell, for example, look like it right now. So we are here on the prompt. So we start at the root of the file system. So I wrote a very simple file system. Uh, so, but we can there are, there are directories so we, we can navigate around uh, the file system so we start at the root of the file system which is uh, represented by the slash like that so we can uh, do an ls to see what's uh, in that directory uh, and so my ls code is not uh, is not like the normal ls in unix uh, in Unix, if you type ls-l, then you get a long listing. So I'm doing the long listing by default here, uh, which in this case long means that it shows the file attributes. So the D means directory, the R means read, and then there, there, there are two spaces here for writable and executable. So this is a directory. So we can uh, go into the directory, user, can do an ls. So there are two directories there, guest and Paul. So let's go into guest and then we can do ls again and then there's another folder, home. So we go into home. So we look there, ls again and we can see what's there. So I put some things, some files there for now. So we have a directory here, apps, we have another one, games. Then we have some text files. Uh, there is an executable here, as you can see there is an X here, which means executable. And there are another text, other text files, and there is another directory here, and finally there is another directory there. So, for now then we can see, uh, we can open for example the commands.txt, so if you type cat commands.txt uh, and type enter, uh, you should see that it lists the text file so this is the only way that I have to list text files right now I don't have an editor a text editor so we can see the commands that are working right now so pwd uh, show you 
shows you the current uh, directory that we are in then we have ls of course cd and cd dot dot so we can go back at one level in the directories as well uh, then we have remove uh, to remove a file uh, we also have remove directory and for this command the directory has to be empty uh, for now uh, because of course if you delete a directory you have to delete everything inside of it and also if there are directories with other files you have to do some recursion so it's not working like that yet uh, then we have some uh, a ma make text uh, command which is used to create a text file we have a make bin which uh, is used to create an executable uh, then we have chmod which is just to change the permissions on the files uh, we have dates and then we have the something just to show here how you execute uh, an executable so do ls again uh, let's do uh, cd home uh, and um, uh, so here then we have some files I can show you for example and um, let's see uh, let's go into CD ASCII art which is just some uh, uh, images that I put here so let's do cat sonic one.txt just some images ASCII images which is all I can have um, okay so that's what we have so we can create a, a text file I can show you how to create a text file so make text and then you put a file name so I do test.txt and then it tells you enter the file contents so you can type anything you want so let's type hello world here and so each file is a maximum of 64 kilobytes and all files are 64 kilobytes actually so that's one of the limitations of the file system that I'm writing for now uh, so you can enter at most uh, 64 kilobytes of data here so let's press enter and that's going to create a file and we can do ls now and we see that the file test.txt is there and you can see it's not a directory because there is no d uh, and it's read write and it's not an executable so it's a text file if you try to execute it test.txt is not going to execute uh, we can also change the permissions on the file so test.txt and then uh, I have to enter a hexadecimal number here all my uh, numbers have to be entered in uh, uh, well in this case it's an hexadecimal but it needs four digits and then the last uh, it's a 16 bit number but the last three bits uh, stand for X, W and R so right now it's read write I can make it for example read only so if I do do it like this so a password this is just 9999 and do ls again as, as you can see it's write only now the file so we have changed the permissions okay so um, let's see we have the guest book also so we can execute the guest guest book uh, program if we execute this uh, we go into there so I can list all the messages that are in the disk so this is using the uh, the upper uh, the upper uh, LBAs of the disk for now which is actually a compact flash then I assign the guest book so hello enter and we see that the image um, the message is saved so this is just we can close then three closes so this is just to illustrate that you can execute programs as well there so let me show you how we would create a program for example so let me go back here and take open here a program just a simple program here to uh, calculate prime numbers so we copy the code here we go into the assembler paste and we get the machine code we go back here and we type make bin 
uh, and give a name so make them primes and then it asks you for the hexadecimal code so you do, just paste it and enter uh, so that creates an executable so we can do an ls uh, as you can see here the primes uh, program is here and it's read writes and x for executable so for example you can try to do a cat primes but because it's an executable it's not going to work uh, so if we execute that primes it executes the binary uh, the binary machine code so upper bounds uh, say 300 so it calculates some primes so this is I think this is mostly what I wanted to show uh, so it's the file system it's a very simple file system but as you can see we can just navigate around freely like this uh, we can also uh, let's say make here we can create another folder so test folder make here make there so test folder is there so it's a directory read and write uh, we can remove directory test folder uh, ls so it's no longer there um, I have an image um, I have an ASCII file here so cat file sys.txt uh, show you, shows you th the simple structure of the file system so each directory here is represented by a small table so it's one sector, it's basically two sectors per directory for now so then we have the directory name we have the I identification or LBA of the parent directory this is just to make it easier to navigate for now and then inside this table we have a, a, another table uh, which are the entries, all the files inside the directory so we have the file name, attributes like read, write, etc uh, the address in the disk and the size of the file which I'm not actually using for now uh, so uh, so that's it, so there's somebody else using uh, the system right now because it's online so I, I have guests sometimes uh, coming here and using it so uh, somebody just did uh, cat command dot text uh, right now so yeah so I think that that's basically what I wanted to uh, have somebody trying to do it cat prime and so this is basically what I wanted to show you for now uh, actually um, if um, I will uh, work more on this I, I'm trying to make a login system so there are multiple uh, users at the same time but that would require a process uh, a process manager and so I think that's it for now uh, if I think of anything else then I'll make more videos uh, so thank you for watching